Hello, my name is Sven Lauks. I'm City and Guilds Kineo's Technical Director and I would like to give you a quick overview of the features of Totra Mobile. What you see here is the login screen and I'd like to make a quick comment on the look and feel of the app. We've kept it very simple and clean and it's very straightforward to rebrand the app by changing the logo which you see here as the Totra Leaf and by changing a few color values you can change the look and feel entirely and bring different colors through. The app is built as a fully responsive app, which means if I turn the phone around, it will adjust. And I'll demonstrate. You can see here the app adjusts and uses the frame quite nicely. Changing back, uh, what I'd like to do now is log in. And at this point, it has remembered my login, so all I have to do is press the login button. I then get taken to the home screen. From here, I can get to the main menu, um, the items on the top navigation, which is my bookings, tasks and alerts. I can also launch my courses, which is the most common use case, as we expect. So by launching my courses, I get taken to a list of courses which I'm enrolled in. And you can see these have progress indicators, so mobile demo course is started and difficult conversations has been completed. As and when I reveal the details, I can see I can launch the course, or I can view the course participants. We're going to look at launching the course later on, so I'll quickly show you what course participants does. From here, I can see the participants of the course, and I can contact them. So let's say I'll have a look at Lydia. This reveals Lydia's profile, and what I can do is I can send Lydia a message. This will translate into an email message sent directly to Lydia on the account that's registered on the site. Let's look at the main menu. On the main menu you can see there's a reference to my profile, in this case demo user. I can return back to the home screen, I can browse the catalogue, find courses and programs, I can view my learning, my courses, my bookings, and also any tasks and alerts. And finally, I can change some basic settings and log out of the app. My bookings, tasks, and alerts are also present at the top navigation. So if I start going through those, the first thing you see is my bookings. These are all of the bookings that a user is enrolled in, in the order of their start date. And we think this is a useful reminder as we think learners don't log into the LMS uh, that often necessarily. Uh, notice these are only reminders, so there is no functionality in build currently that allows people to make any new bookings here. The next item is tasks. Tasks are mainly aimed at managers, especially with regards to the approval processes. Some of these tasks can be handled on the app, so for instance for plan approvals, um, others have to be reviewed on the main site, as this one here. This reminder from uh, Tristy, if I click on review items, it would take me straight to the appropriate place on the main site. I can't handle it here. And finally, alerts. These are all of the system notifications for any type of user of the system. And you can see here, there have been various items. So for instance, I've been enrolled in the anti-bribery program, and I have been involved in the data protection training course. I can dismiss these alerts and stay in touch with what's happening on the LMS on the go. So let's take a look at the catalog. To get to the catalog I can go via the main menu and click on find courses or find programs. When I click on find courses I see the categories as they are listed on the main site. So I can go into a category see what subcategories are underneath, explore those subcategories and see what courses are in there. And this of course goes uh, any level down. If I select a course which I'm not enrolled in, I can enroll myself. And the same of course goes for programs. Programs are slightly different in so much that they've got an added layer of complexity which are the sets. And as you're looking at this program here you can see various sets. There's mobile demo, legal, personal development. These are the regular program sets, and you can see here that from within there, I can navigate to the courses as well. So let's have a look at an actual course. I'm going to find the mobile demo course. As I launch this, 
you can see I've got a short description at the top of how many activities there are and how many of those I've got completed. And then you've got resources, e-learning, feedback and other. Those are the actual topics in the course and you could name them whatever you want them to be. We've implemented various types of resource, so you can see here there's the file download, there are web pages and HTML labels, and we've reflected the HTML very simply in the course. What you can also see is that we've reflected the self-completion element. And if I manage to hit the tick, you can see that can also feed through into the main Totra site. There is the feedback activity, which enables you to run tests, quizzes, and maybe deliver happy sheets or evaluation sheets on courses. As I launch that, you can see that translates through into the mobile app very simply. I can give my answers here. I can carry on giving further answers to the course. And finally, also submitting my answers, which get captured on the main site and are visible to the uh, teachers or administrators. And finally, let's look at a very exciting use case, and that is to launch an e-learning module. At this point, it's worth saying that we've implemented uh, various e-learning modules here using the Canoe Adapt framework. So all of these items are suitable for mobile devices. However, there is a flag on the main Totra site where you can set whether or not uh, such a module is suitable. And the default is no, so it's a conscious decision by the administrator to say this resource is suitable for a mobile device. So as and when I click on my Sitting Goods English course, which happens to be a maths course underneath, uh, so apologies, um, you can see some basic details and you can then launch the course. This will generate a pop-up, which it needs to do, in order to stay responsive as and when the content appears. And what happens now is that that content launches in a different tab. And you can see here, again, this is a responsive design course, which you can interact with, gather feedback, and do various interactions, including video, etc. So here's an example of a question screen. And with that, we've shown that uh, e-learning can work as well on the Totra mobile app. One important thing to add to that is that uh, you still always need to have a connection in order to be able to launch e-learning and for that e-learning to track correctly via SCORM to the main Totra site. Um, we have taken care to insert an alert that when the connection is lost and tracking data can no longer be recorded, that the user is alerted. So um, that is something that the app includes and it's handled as part of the app, not the learning module. And with that, uh, that really concludes the demo. So thank you very much for watching and thanks for your time. And I hope you found it interesting.